guys, Ronnie and Reaper here. Friday afternoon, so that can only mean one thing. It's Friday movie night. So yeah, another Friday afternoon, another movie to review. And this week you've voted for me to watch Zero Dark Thirty. I've been really wanting to watch this one for a while, I've heard nothing but good things. And it's about a subject that I'm I'm fairly interested in, so should be great. Don't know this is about the manhunt for Osama bin Laden. And it's from the director of Point Break, I'm pretty sure it was Keanu Reeves. So yeah. There's like plenty of reviews here you can probably read. Yeah. I'll not waffle on any longer. We'll pop this disc into the PlayStation and bit watching Zero Dark Thirty. So yeah, that was Zero Dark Thirty. Basically, this one it's all about the decade long manhunt of from the CIA to find Osama bin Laden after the September eleventh attacks on the Twin Towers. And it follows follows one analyst Maya over the course of several different years. We see different, we don't see like the whole 11 years, but we sh we're shown it at different points. Like 2003, 2004, 2005, then we get then 2009 and of course the actual raid itself on, in 2011. So yeah, what did I think of the film? Yeah, fantastic. Really, really great film. Like, it it's a long one. It's nearly it's like near Blade Runner twenty forty nine line, and and yeah, it, 
it really earns it. It's this this great narrative spanning the course of over a decade, and yeah, the long run time helps to establish like different parts of the operation and you know the characters in the particular situations. It's a really gripping, like, investigation. And it's really interesting seeing how it evolves throughout the runtime. If you're expecting, like, an action-packed, tense one, yeah, you're not going to find that here. Well, until, not until, like, the last 35 minutes or so, but apart from that, it's fairly slow building and definitely works in the film's favour. There are some great performances here as well to accompany that. Jessica Chastain as the lead character Maya is fantastic. Watch her acting in one scene about an hour or so in and just the raw anger. It's incredible. And another great performance, particularly in one scene, is Mark Strong who gets a... He has a really good angry speech. Keep, <laughs> keep an eye out for that. And Kyle Chandler is pretty good here as well. Like, every other word that seems to leave his mouth in this film is an F bomb. <laughs> Which, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Uh, he's a very good, like, you know, official type character. And. Yeah, and Jason Clark as well. Thought he's pretty good. There's a he's very good at the start when they show him interrogating a prisoner they have on a, one of the CIA's black sites. So yeah, the, inter the interrogations at the start are pretty great. Uh, it's like it's pretty tense stuff, and. And yeah, another great performance was Chris Pratt, who brings that kind of humour and levity to like interactions with like the, his fellow soldiers. Which yeah, kind of like helps lighten those character interactions. But uh, yeah, they know to keep it serious for the rest. Yeah, it, and it looks great as well. Like. Not very much in the way of colour, like it's mostly this very gritty, almost murky kind of colour scheme. Yeah, it's definitely murky in the last 35 minutes or so. Yeah, there's there's one scene that uses colour pretty well in, in Nightclub fairly briefly. But for the most part, it's a fairly like, gritty and plain colours, which, yeah, works very well considering like the tone and you know what the film is going for yeah overall just a fantastic film that if you're like interested in this subject matter it's definitely worth your time it's definitely worth the near three hours of of you know to spend watching it and yeah some, it's great stuff, you know. It's great acting, great atmosphere, great visual style. Just all in all, fantastic. Definitely one of the best films I have reviewed on this series. So, yeah, that was this week's Friday Movie Night. My copy of 1917 dispatched last night from Zoom, so I don't know when that's going to arrive, but when that does, there will be an unboxing, and tomorrow I might get the custom slipcover tutorial done, so yeah, hopefully keep an eye out for that, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and you're new to the channel, you want to see more, and turn, don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you don't miss an upload. <laughs>